for the first time, this trial shows a dramatic and durable uh, response and tumor shrinkage in patients with acquired resistance to erlotinib or gefitinib. Uh, this was a phase 1b trial, uh, meaning that after the uh, maximum tolerated dose was discovered uh, in this combination of afatinib and stuximab, we then expanded the cohort to include additional patients. Because of the preliminary and dramatic efficacy results, we expanded the cohort for up to 126 patients. And of, of those patients treated at the maximum tolerated dose, we saw 29% uh, tumor regression, which it was 37 uh, patients with uh, dramatic tumor regression. And uh, a substantial proportion of those folks had tumor regression of more than 50%. Again, which generally translates into improvement in, in symptoms and quality of life uh, in patients. In terms of toxicity profile, both EGFR uh, inhibitors, afatinib and stuximab, uh, have uh, a uh, overlapping toxicity profile. They both can cause diarrhea and rash, and those were the overwhelming uh, you know, majority of the toxicities that we saw on the trial. Uh, patients were able to tolerate it with dose reductions uh, and close follow-up uh, with uh, the oncologist and the dermatologist. Um, and so a uh, majority of the patients stayed on trial and did not discontinue for toxicity.